Hello YouTubers, this is the Nubifier with part 2 of a no bullshit rundown of the new atmospherics and stamina game mechanics coming with patch 3.0. I have a link up for you right now for part 1 where I discuss how the player's atmosphere will be simulated in patch 3.0. Initially the system seems very cool, but when you start to look at how it works, you start to see how the devs wove it into every system such that it seamlessly impacts all aspects of your gameplay. In essence this is how the balance is going to be created and preserved where your choices will immediately decide the outcome in real time. Its significance is on par with planetary landing, and if you're a veteran of Star Citizen, 3.0 will probably feel like a completely new game. Let's begin. Unlike other FPS games, Star Citizen aims to deliver a more tactically paced gameplay. This can be achieved with the new systems as part of 3.0. The game tracks stamina several ways to ensure that you make wise choices while you're out in the verse. A fatigue mechanic will cost you things like steady aim or limit your mobility, and a second component that can easily be described as a debuff system. The stamina system will progressively tire or injure your character based on how hard you push the situation. Unless you're stabilized or returned to a safe environment, in extreme situations your condition will degrade until you become incapacitated. So just like in real life, sprinting or jumping wears you down and tires you out sooner than walking or sneaking. Taking bullets, being exposed to a toxic environment, or running out of air will injure you. This system is shaping up to be the balanced framework that'll let Star Citizen realistically penalize you for your choices. The gear you carry will add cost, the gravity you're walking in will add cost, and pushing your character hard, whether g-forces during flight or straight up exertion, will cost. Examples like those will reduce your stamina pool. There's also mention of a fitness mechanic, which means that by being out of shape, you'll burn through your stamina sooner and take longer to recover. You can recover by backing off a little bit to catch your breath, providing that you're not damaged, exposed, and that you have access to breathable air. Food, water, medication, and possibly drugs may buff your character for a short period of time, but there will need to be penalties associated with relying on them so they aren't eventually abused. When moving, you're gonna to need to evaluate where you wanna be versus how far it is and decide how effective you need to be once you get there. Arriving very fast could result in you needing 10 seconds to return to normal. It may make more sense to move with a purpose being ready for contact the entire way there. If you deplete your stamina pool, you may have a greater difficulty landing shots and your character may not sprint when you really need to. Don't worry, it's not all bad. It's actually fairly realistic to sprint around and jump and then become winded. As I mentioned, this simulation is going to take resting, injury, your health, and your fitness into consideration as you regenerate your strength back into the stamina pool. The Call of Duty way of doing things where soldiers can sprint everywhere, fully loaded without any penalty, is not going to be part of Star Citizen. The system is being coded to be as complete as possible. Damage to a particular limb will affect your ability to perform tasks with that limb. With a damaged arm, you could have trouble compensating for recoil, or you could even have reduced capability when you fly your ship. A damaged leg can hurt your ability to jump or sprint. If you push hard when you're hurt, you'll burn through your stamina quicker and eventually collapse ending up prone. This is why teamwork in these cases will be key. It's not only for fire cover and movement. CIG was playing around with the idea a couple years ago about the drag and carry system where you could recover a teammate to stabilize their injury. I'd also like to mention the idea of permadeath and ruined limbs. It may become necessary to be pulled back to a medical facility, such as an Endeavor, to be fitted for biometrics. So even if your arm is completely blown off, it's not the end of the world. So far the new stamina system seems pretty detailed, but they actually didn't stop there. The in-flight blackout model also takes your current stamina directly into consideration. Pulling high G loads drains your stamina pool just like any other activity. Being injured or weak or out of shape will cause you to blackout easier and because stamina is directly impacted by the air you're breathing, all those are factored into play as well. When I started to research for this and I saw how interconnected everything was, I became very excited to cover this topic. There's a real spider web at work behind the scenes and once again, I'm struggling to find another game with a system like this. Let's say you're flying a ship and you're low on air or injured or poisoned. You won't be able to push G's as hard as before because you're compromised. New situation, you're flying the exact same ship low on air and injured and poisoned. The three compound together, making it easier to pass out. To tie into the first video, I want to remind you that pushing hard won't only make you tired, but it'll also make you burn through your air. The stamina system will therefore have a direct impact on the atmosphere mechanics, 
which if left unchecked, will impede your ability to recover. Hopefully I've been successful in underscoring how exciting this new system is. It'll be up to us to offer feedback to ensure a reasonable balance between realism and fun. This is a simulator, but it's ultimately a game first. Thank you very much for spending your time with me today. If you like this channel's no bullshit approach, please consider subscribing for future content. If you liked the video and got something out of it, I would appreciate you sending the link to a friend or orgmate. Fly safe and I'll see you in the verse.